this video we're going to see if I can recover from this incident here on the first lap at Bathurst. Hey guys and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of Gran Turismo sport related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. Today's video is the next video in our beginner to winner series. This series documents my journey of going from a controller with assists to a wheel without any and trying to achieve my ultimate goal of becoming an A plus ranked driver. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video to see where I eventually finish and whether I make any progress. So, intro over, let's get into it. So we're back at Bathurst today. We're back in the KFC Lexus and we've got another nine laps in weekly race C. The fun's already gonna begin at Hell's Corner, the first corner on the first lap, as we take a little bump the Spaniard behind there in the Merc but no harm done. Thankfully we've got the slipstream of the Spaniard up in front. We're in the middle of a Spaniard sandwich right now of the Ford GT up in front so it's pulling us along nicely so he doesn't have an opportunity to overtake although this Lexus is pretty quick but definitely being in the slipstream of the car ahead helps. So we've made our way through Griffin's Bend, we're coming into the cutting here which I finally got the hang of which is one good thing about weekly races, it forces you to get good at tracks, like I've said before. And we're just going to follow everybody through and try not to get involved in any silliness for the first couple of laps or so, ideally. But as always, that's easier said than done. So, as you saw in the intro, we're going to come here down towards the S's and everything is about to kick off. We're going to hit up the backside again and just get absolutely sandwiched, round we go. The entire field passes, I get reset and almost spin again. And we're down into 20th. Have a look ahead here, the Brit. I think that's the guy we've seen in the video before. Texas Ranger, he's gonna decide he wants no part of it after that. And quits, so we're now 19th out of 19, but we're gonna persevere and we're gonna see what we can do and if we can recover. So let's see how far up we can go. So coming down to Conroy straight here, we've got about two seconds to the guy in 18th here. But as I say, the weekly races have actually done me some good round here. I'm actually getting the hang of it. As you may have seen, this is a very strong lobby. The likes of Eric, say Eric, Derek, etc. are in it. So not as strong as a lot of the lobbies you may have seen, but a strong one for me as a cone goes flying there on the left hand side. So after an eventful lap one, we're in last place and we're gonna try and make our way up the field. So as we come out of Hell's Corner onto the mountain straight for the second time, you can see up ahead the first two people on our list are the two Germans up ahead. One of them is in an Aston, and the other one is in a forward. So we're gonna come into Griffin's Bend here, a nice bit of trail braking, keep it nice and smooth on the way out, and as you can see, we're catching them pretty quickly. Check the German guy out here, or the second German guy, who gets onto the marbles, I follow him, and we all do a bit of wall riding, not the greatest advocate for good racing there, or skilled driving, should I say. But we've survived and we've made our way through. You can see up ahead, the first jump is getting in all sorts of trouble there with the mega powerful Ford. We're gonna slide past him up into 18th now. It's one of the reasons I don't use that Ford to be honest, and I'm in the Lexus. I just find it too big and I just can't control it. So next on our list is this German here in the Aston. I'm hoping if we get a decent run out of this corner here, hoping to get it right. Forest elbow down onto the Comra stroke. We might be able to get a run on him. But then part of me also is thinking I wanna do some fuel saving. 
So we're just going to sit behind him. As you see, he's going to think we're going to go up the inside. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to stay behind him. Does that mean he's going to go there, or does he want me to go there? So I pull out of that move there, but it's distracted me. I'm just going to break way too late. I'm going to find myself going off at the chase here, back on, and I'm going to get overtaken here by the German again. So we're back down into 19th. Not ideal, but there's still plenty of time to go. If we've got past them once, we can get past them again. So starting lap three, we're going to hit the reset button and try again. So lap number three, we see the yellow flags up ahead there, I can see someone ghosted. We've got a fantastic run on the German in the Ford here. I'm going to pull out, but it looks like, and I think he's going to pull out at some point, so I'm just going to stick behind them for now. He's going to try up the inside, and he's going to run wide, there's going to be contact, he's going to run that Merc into the wall. Bad times for the Merc, but good for us as we're now back up into 18th. So we're gonna come through this uphill section now. Be very patient on the throttle there, but I seem to have got the hang of it now. Coming through Quarry here, Reed Park, turn seven, eight, and nine, and heading our way round. This is such a difficult part of the track here. I'll get out the throttle so we don't go wide like this guy. He's gonna go wide as we come over the skyline and there's going to be contact so I'm going to be forced to go down here I was going to let him back through but as you can see in the rear view he is rounding off after contact with the Merc so he's out of contention now he's down in 19th as you can see we're up to 17th and after a few hectic laps we're starting to make our way back up the field how far can we go can we get a top 10 I think that's going to be our aim. Let's see if we can do it. We rejoin the action a lap ahead here. We've managed to pull out a bit of a gap to the guy behind and managed to catch up a little bit to the Spaniard in front. Someone comes in for their early pit stop there. So I don't know if that's going to be a good move or a bad one. We shall see going forward. But this is going to be our in lap. And as you can see, there's a gaggle of cars up in front that we're catching up with. We continue to catch up with the guys in front. There you go, you can see three of them now as we're coming down through the S's towards Forest Elbow. I'm hoping the Lexus would have saved some fuels and I haven't been doing too much of it to be honest. I'm hoping the Lexus is going to have saved enough fuel and we're going to be in a good place to jump these guys in the pits. There's plenty of dust going on here. As you can see, the guys are side by side down there. We're going to try and sit in the slipstream of the Spaniard that we've seen many times this race already. The guy in the Merc there. We put in our fastest lap of the race. Coming down here is the Spaniard has made the move on the German there and we're going to come in to the pits. Let's see how the fuel pans out. I'm going to break here a little bit too late. I'm actually going to hit the German whilst the Spaniard spins round. So for those who are wondering, I actually apologised to him afterwards. Apologies again on here, Gao Louis. It was a complete accident and I'm glad after I checked the replay that your race wasn't completely destroyed by my misjudgment. But apologies for that. In the meantime, we've managed to make our way up to 15th place now. So we've got the Finn up in front in the Merc. We managed to jump a guy. Oh, somebody else has just disappeared. I don't know why that is. There's yellow flags up ahead. So we've overtaken the Spaniard as well. So a quick fire couple of places for us there. We're now up to 13th. As I was saying, I'm not sure what happened to the guy in the Mustang there. He's very slow coming out of the pits. I don't know why that was. And he was ghosted, so I just kept my foot in it. And we made it through. And we're now on the back of the fin. So the idea here, I'm just going to sit behind him. Try and stay well away from him so I don't hit him. And we're going to try and make a move down the Comrade Strait. So through the S's here as the leaders pit there in the 
top left. Coming through Forest Elbow here, we're going to get a decent run out. We're going to be in his slipstream, so we're going to have a great opportunity here to either take him down the Conrod straight or into the chase. So we're catching, catching, catching here. If he goes to the outside, I'm going to take the inside, or if he goes to the inside, I'm going to go around the outside. He's taking the inside, so I'm going to break a little bit later than usual, get alongside him, check the radar, try and keep it on the track, try and get the power down, a little bit of wobbling, a little bit of oversteer, but we've made it. Oh, I'm happy with that move. Very happy with that move. Around the outside, into that corner. I've seen some of my favourite YouTubers do it and I'm really really happy that I've done the same. So we're now up to 10th place as we just go past the pit exit. Look at the ghosted car just coming out of the pits. He actually slots in between myself and the fin we've just overtaken and we're up to the top 10. Oh, so now I'm not going to do what I did before as I actually put in a purple sector for the first sector of lap number seven. I'm not gonna throw this one away, I'm gonna try and race consistently and try and put a bit of a gap between myself and 11th and bring this top 10 home. As we cross the line to start lap number eight, that's my quickest lap of the race by a good two and a half seconds there as I get a bit of a wriggle on coming out of Hell's Corner but we've got a decent 1.4 second gap to the car behind. Just gonna keep it consistent and bring this one home. Coming across the line here to start the final lap. Another quickest lap time for us now at 2.05.1. We've got a 1.7, 1.8 now gap to the guy behind. So it looks like we've recovered after that first lap nightmare quite nicely to bring home a top 10 finish. So we're going to rejoin the action on the final part of the lap here, coming down Conrad straight into the chase. As you can see, the guy in ninth place has had some sort of error. We've managed to catch him up but not close enough to make any kind of move here. I've settled for 10th place, which I'm happy with. We're gonna come into Murray's corner, the final corner for the final time, and bring home our well-deserved, in my opinion, 10th place. As our 10th place is confirmed there, gone two places up from where we started amazingly so happy with that comeback let's have a look and see how it's affected our driver rating so here we go then here's our driver rating we're now up to 34,305 points i think that's the highest we've ever been with a wheel if it's not the highest it's pretty much going to be the highest it's going to be on par but Good progress still being made, especially round a track for me like Bathurst. And that is the end of the video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching again so much, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.